today my travels bring me to lovely Sicily, Italy. I had a choice of exploring this beautiful, lush landscape or talking to you about Supreme. They made me an offer that I couldn't refuse. Welcome back, friends, to another edition of Fauntleroy's Finest, and today we're going to talk about Supreme's Week 4. I hear a lot of you saying that Week 4 is mid at best, or trash. <laughs> now, I don't think it's the worst week that we've ever seen, but I uh, definitely am not going to defend it. it. It's not the greatest week we've ever seen either. But we are getting a collaboration with an old-school skate brand, Toy Machine, and there are a few items from that collaboration that I'm kind of interested in. Before we get into this drop list, I do want to make sure that you guys are members of the Discord. But instead of talking about Larry's calendar and all the other things, I'm going to show you pictures of myself in Athens. I'm pretty sure that the reason I made it to the Acropolis was because of the Discord. And I feel like I may be the first person to rock half evil to the Parthenon in its 2000 year history. So if any of you work for Guinness, maybe I need a world record, something like that. I don't know. Let's get on it. And if you like these videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel because, I mean, what else are you watching, really? After a bad start, unfortunately. Alright, enough about that nonsense. Let's get into the drop. First up, the loose fit mini plaid short sleeve shirt. <laughs> I mean, come on. Next up, we have these toy machine work pants. Um, I guess nobody's really feeling these. The cheetah, probably not it. And then black. I mean, it's just kind of plain. There's just not a lot going on here, and they're $138. I get it. I know. Next up, we have the Supreme Toy Machine Faux Leather Vest. Now, honestly, this might have been a little bit cooler if it was an actual leather vest, although a lot more expensive. It's a cool, like, biker-looking vest. I don't know how it really fits in with skateboarding all that much. I really do like the logo on the back of it, but at the end of the day, unless you're hanging out in biker bars or, or gay bars all the time, you, you might really not get a lot of use for this particular vest. Next up, we've got some warm-up pants. I mean, you can warm up in these pants. You can trouble me for a warm glass of shut the hell up. Next up, the Toy Machine Fist Tee. Now, I actually kind of dig this tee, but just because I dig it doesn't mean it's going to resell. I, I really do think most of this week is personal. I think this is as well. I like the knuckle thing, honestly. I don't know why. It kind of is funny to me. I feel like this tee should be a little higher on the list. You guys are giving it some disrespect, but uh, you know what? I always like the Cliver ones, and they never really resell for anything, so... Don't listen to me. Next up, the Toy Machine Harrington Jacket. Now, I think these just suffer from the same thing as those pants. They're a little bit basic at the end of the day. They're just a pattern with one tiny little logo in it. I know that's kind of Supreme's thing, but there's just nothing going on here. I mean, we've had cheetah jackets before. We've had black jackets before. We've had orange jackets before. So again, nothing special here. Not a terrible price point for a jacket, but I bet they're gonna be pretty thin. I'm thinking thin. Next up, the Toy Machine Meshback 5 panel. You guys are disrespecting the toy machine stuff but they're not really giving us a lot of stuff to work with either the black and green one is is okay not feeling that cheetah pattern really on anything that they're doing here either way i see these as personals and they'll probably sit for a little bit if you do want them uh, next up we have the toy machine webbing belt now i actually think this is a decent little accessory i don't even care if you get the cheetah one in this to be honest with you i don't have a problem with that pattern on a belt 38 dollars is not a bad retail for a nice little supreme item i don't really see these flipping for you resale boys out there but i do think this is a cool piece and i do expect these to go a little bit faster than most things i, I don't think it's gonna like sell out boom right away but i think it'll be gone within a day or so your man is stupid next up short sleeve pocket tee yep another one here we go the new era salvation beanie this is a set that goes with a hoodie that's coming down the line here uh, i think these beanies are fine i like that they're all different like each colorway has different text on it the blue one says angels the black one has saints on it it's a neat idea and certain colorways of this beanie will probably sell out certain colorways will probably sit i think the angels and the saints definitely are two to focus on if you were looking at these to pick up to hold again if you're getting a big cart why not throw a 40 dollars beanie in it My God. Next up, the Toy Machine Welcome to Hell team. Toy Machine puts out skate videos, Welcome to Hell being probably their most famous one. And I believe this is the cover picture to the video or whatever it is. The only reason I think this one might be worth a more of a gamble than some of the others is because it is like an old iconic skate picture. So maybe some of those old heads will be interested. Who knows? But I do think it's probably worth picking up in black, especially if you're buying a whole bunch of stuff already. Next up, we have this Toy Machine hooded zip-up sweater. I, I actually do really like this. 
I just think it's a little bit busy, right? Like the whole image is a little bit too much for me personally, but I do think it looks good. I like the blue colorway in this for some reason. Usually I'm more drawn to black. This one I like the blue. I think the yellow and red play off it a little bit better, but I really dislike a $228 retail on a zip up hooded sweatshirt. I'm going to throw up. I think I'm going to throw Don't throw up. up. It's definitely made out of some other material. I, I'm guessing it's a nice fleece or something like that, but I, I'm, I'm good. I'm good on that for $228. Um, it's a little busy for me anyways, but again, it does look cool. If you like it, get it, but I don't really see this reselling either. Next up, we have this Salvation hoodie. I really like that every colorway has a different saying on it. The blue one says angels, the gray one says holy name, and the black one says saints. I can see that. I can't really tell what the other two say here. If I can get a picture, I'll show it. I feel like there could be something with these down the line, but I think that black one and the blue one are probably the ones to focus on. XXL, XLs, if you want to hold for reselling. If you're just buying them for yourself, I do expect these to kind of go, especially the black one, the blue one. I kind of wish they would do this more with their hoodies where each colorway is a little bit of a different variation. It just makes these items a little more unique and it's not just uh, this one's blue, this one's black, this one's red. I'm afraid I just blew myself. Next up we have the washed canvas camp cap. I actually like this one a lot. Maybe the black one is my least favorite. Obviously black is always the best one to go after if you're reselling but that dark blue one with the dark camo I really like that one better than black and then I do also like the camo with the red box logo. I haven't really been picking up as many camp caps as I used to just because they are making so many camp caps. Like every week we usually get one or two camp caps. But everybody loves camp caps, right? <laughs> right? It's no, a Friday. son of a bitch. Next up, the two-in-one MA1 Plus vest. What a name. This might be my favorite item of the week with my least favorite retail of the week. Damn, I was really interested in picking one of these up if it wasn't too crazy. I think the blue one with that like porter orange on the inside looks really, really good to me. The black one's good too, obviously, but at 450, man, like, I don't know. I don't think that I can do that, especially when you see other Alpha Industry collabs coming around for a lot cheaper than that. And I don't even fucking need a vest. Like, when the hell am I ever gonna use a vest? You know I've been protesting vests from the beginning. I just don't even understand the use of it unless you're fly fisherman. Otherwise, you don't need a vest. If you buy one, I'll borrow it from you anytime you'll let me, but I'm just, I'm good on 450 for this thing. I really am. Next up, we have the Toy Machine Devil Cat Tee. This might be my favorite t-shirt of the collaboration, and strangely enough, only three colorways. I feel like the black t-shirt will probably go pretty quickly here, and there could be a little bit of resale potential down the road for like XLs, XXLs. Maybe those pinks will do something in small, but at the end of the day, if you're looking for reselling, the black one in XL, XXL should do you pretty good. I want this money. Uh, next up we have the Supreme Chosen One baseball jersey. I think the baseball jerseys have been doing okay. This one's not a bad price point. 138 has a ton of branding and crazy patches all over it. The navy and red kind of resembles the Braves, I guess. And then there's a black and green, which I'm not really sure what that is. Maybe Seattle. I have no idea. And my mind is not made up on that camo. I look at it sometimes and I'm like, that looks pretty good. And then I look at it again and I'm like, I don't know if I'd wear it though. So I'm a little bit tall. I don't think this is the best jersey that we've seen in the last year even, but usually big sizes in nice branded jerseys do pretty well. So if you are going to take a gamble on this for reselling, I think XLs, XXLs, like I always say, probably your best bet here for sure, especially jerseys. A lot of people size up their jerseys when they're getting them anyway, so that's why bigger sizes always best here. Cool jersey, you should be okay, but maybe just a little risky for resale. You better watch your butt, man. Next up, we have the Toy Machine hooded sweatshirt. Now, the hoodies don't have the devil cat, just a regular devil head. I like these hoodies, but nothing super special, nothing crazy. I'd, I'd probably just rather buy the t-shirt than buy the hoodie. 168, they're not cutting any deals with these, and it really just has that little tiny embroidered logo here. If you wanted to be a psycho and gamble on these for resale, go with black in the biggest sizes you can, but in my opinion, this is a personal. Next up, this is the item that I want from the 
the week the supreme toy machine skate deck i love the graphic on this skate deck and you know i am one of the biggest deck whores out there so i'm gonna have to pick this one up i'm totally gonna ask re up to run a slot for me so i can get this deck i hear everyone out there going boy that deck is cool i'm gonna get that deck i want that deck this deck is going to fly off of the website i bet there's not going to be that many of them anyways the problem with the deck is they charge you more for shipping so it ends up being an 81 dollars deck with the shipping added to it plus tax and all that shit but if you actually went to the toy machine site to buy their decks they're 68 dollars anyways so supreme isn't taxing this at all it's hard for me to say that single carding this is going to be worthwhile even though it seems to be one of the most popular items this week i can't in good faith tell you to buy decks for resale but i think this one will probably hold its value at least in the near future it might go down after people forget about this collaboration but i do think this is an item that people are going to be wanting to try to get for the next few days after the drop if they can't so if you're getting one for resale i would get it and put it on ebay right away to try to make something off of it it's a super cool deck in it'll probably make a little bit of money for you if you did buy it for reselling but it's not going to be that much and i really can't recommend you spending that much on a deck to try to resell it and next up the number one item of the week on supreme community the supreme toy machine jbl clip this is like a small little speaker you can just like clip on a belt loop or, or whatever and just play your tunes is mayonnaise an instrument no patrick mayonnaise is not an instrument Horseradish is not an instrument either. When we first saw the drop list, they were saying these are $68, and I was like, all in on that, but now it's $118. I just don't really recommend buying Supreme Technology at all. They usually start these collabs a few years in advance, so by the time they actually come out, it's usually old technology. I really don't know about these JBL mini speakers. I think it looks really cool. I, I have no problem with it. $118 isn't that much money at the end of the day if you really want one. I just don't see these reselling and I just don't love buying old technology from Supreme at a like 2x premium. But all in all, definitely one of the cooler pieces from the collaboration. I definitely see why it's the number one item from the week. And if you get one, I'm sure you'll enjoy the clip slash speaker functionality i'm telling you this is this is the real shit all right guys there you go week four's drop list not the greatest week that i've ever seen but definitely a lot of cool personals coming up are you guys going after anything what do you like this week i'm definitely going to try to get a deck if i can potentially a t-shirt or two i don't know let me know what you're gonna grab in the comments down below eat some shit you stupid bitch and if there's anything from the drop you want to make sure that you can secure Hit the Discord up, check out ReUp23 in the ACO channel, and he can hook you up for sure. Thank you guys for watching the video, and if for some reason this one did not give you all the fill of Fauntleroy that you need in your life today, well, you should check out these videos right here. Right around your boy, hold on, don't know what you heard or what you thought about your boy, but they lied about your boy, going dumb and it's something idiotic about your boy.